Happy Wednesday, everybody, and it's time for According to Low Elo, and uh, today we got pretty, uh, I don't want to say controversial, but like, it's I'd, I'd say it's a hot topic that's been coming up for uh, for quite some time, but... Oh, for sure. Yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, Honor, and a few weeks ago they posted an Honor Rewards update, because we all know that getting that stupid little fucking token to get either gray warwick or medieval twitch is just not worth no in my opinion and, <laughs> no no, no. <laughs> or you can get the whole chroma Ooh. right that's uh, like about that. uh yeah um they definitely need to update something and give us something because that is like so blah that like we just we just need something else you know what i mean right so, so- i totally agree with you We'll get into it. Um, we're also going to check out some Reddit comments that were funny, interesting, and, you know. Uh, but first, we're going to go back to episode 92, the patch episode, and we're going to go over the Q&A and poll. And our Q&A was, which champions are you wanting to see be played at Worlds this year? Hey, Dustin, hey, we, got a, we got a response from my boy. What's his name? Dustin Fig Newton. Oh, I love it, dude. Incredible. I fucking love it. Dustin, the best fucking name ever. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so he said, Shaco, please, please, please. And then Ye Zillion, Hecram, Zillion, Yumi combo. So, like, I I don't know if he would see Ye. I feel like uh, Ye is just... He's too easy. So he's to too solo Q. Right, right, right. I mean, we saw the Hecarim buffs. Yes, the Hecarim buffs. I expect to see Hecarim. I definitely expect to see Yumi. Mm, um, I don't know about that because she got nerfed into the fucking ground. Yeah, then they gave her power in the in the Q uh, that they're not going to take away before Worlds. Look, I'll be very. I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure she's going to get played. I don't think she's going to be like. She's not mega be, first right. priority anymore. I agree. I don't think she's top priority, but I think she gets played. Um, Zillion. I mean, Z- Zillion's been played. I mean, for sure. But I, I like your idea of the combo the Hecarim, Zillion, Yumi. Like, that's the buzz. Uh, Hecarim just flies like a. I mean, G, I guess. I throw, a, throw a Sivir in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, that is a feasible team comp. And uh, yeah, I don't know who else, who else could you throw in there. I think I think Nami is officially out of the meta with the with the, oh, the electrocute. electrocute removal. So I think she's officially gone because that's another one that gives movement speed when she does stuff. You know, um, I think uh, that like cuts out Lucian too. I literally don't. I mean, yes. there's still good combos, but like right. it, in pro play, we've only been seeing Lucian Nami. Right. No, nothing right. else. So. Yeah, and I think there's the better early game ADC right now is Draven, in my opinion. So. Um, I would expect to see a lot more of that. Um, the Shaco one, though, I, w- I want to visit the Shaco idea, mm-hmm. and I don't remember when it was played. But do you remember Kickus on uh, Unicorns of Love pulling out Shaco? Yeah, in like an important match and just absolutely dominating with that pick. And I don't know if it's that these pro players don't see it often enough because no one ever plays it in pro, but like, it's fun to watch when you see someone pilot it really well, you know. I would be I, really interested to see that. <laughs> I'd be I wouldn't be surprised if we see it in play ins because I feel like in play ins people are kind of just fucking around, or um, they're or they're trying yeah they're trying stuff to be a little bit more um, on top of the game or whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you, Dustin. Hopefully, we see some of those people uh, champions. Thank and you, then Martin. our poll was of these three, which champion are you most excited for on this patch? And that was the Maokai Hecarim Misfortune. Maokai, Maokai and Hecarim tied at 43%. Misfortune, 14%. Uh, now, Misfortune did get a revert on the attack speed wow, on her W. Wow, just took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, I want to visit that for a second. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly it. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. No, keep going. I'm just, you're reading my mind like a friggin' book because I didn't even say anything in the <laughs> in the pre, the pre-podcast pre discussion about it. But yeah, the Misfortune I mean, revert, like, come on, right? You can't stick to your word here. It's, I mean, so, like, originally it was an adjustment, right? They nerfed her E, and then they gave her a little more power on the W. Now it's just looking at it as a full nerf. Um, Yeah. But, I mean, maybe 
maybe it still stops people from going E. I know you mentioned something about that, but the fact that it's the slow, they they're not no one's gonna build AP Misfortune. I don't think. No, I don't think anyone's building AP Misfortune, but I can still see lethality. Like when you take away the whole point of building, um, like attack speed Misfortune, I think people just are gonna go back to what they know and lethality misfortune i mean and i don't think that's a terrible build i just think it's not the overpowering strong build that um it once was well her okay her wait her q got buffed right right so i i mean the, the attack speed steroid on her w is still 50 to 100 percent. that's a lot i mean mm -hmm. it, it was an extra 10 but it got reverted but right i wouldn't be surprised if we still see uh, crit, you know, I don't know. It could happen. I could, don't. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be seeing the comet Emacs for sure. No, I don't think so. Maybe Dark Harvest if they go lethality, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. But um, for Maokai and Hecarim, I have a, I did have a chance to play a few games of each of them in the jungle. Maokai feels a little like weak. Uh, his clear is pretty decent, but he just needs something. It feels like I need something else. Um, okay. Okay. And then Hecarim is very strong. I've seen people go Eclipse Hecarim, oh which is pretty God. gross. I mean, it gives you a shield. It gives you movement speed. It's so tired of that item. <laughs> it, it feels pretty good. Um, but I do know, I think next week, they for the next patch, they showed like the preview, and I think he's getting nerfed. Um, but yeah, next patch will be the world's patch, so that'll be interesting to see what happens. But thank you guys for participating. Yes. Um, I guess we could just quickly mention LCS finals. Uh, yeah, I didn't watch anything this weekend. I was moving. Uh, as you guys may have noticed, I got a new background. For those of you watching, for those of you listening, uh, I might sound slightly different because the acoustics in this new place are different <laughs> than those in my old place. So I do apologize for that. I will work on it. Um, but... I didn't watch anything, so um, it's all fresh to me. So I'm gonna let Dean uh, uh, rattle on about this one. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we don't need to talk say that much. But um, EG 100 Thieves on Saturday was a fucking war, dude. It was like Cowrie coming in. He was actually like popping off in those games. It was pretty insane. Let's like, go. Let's go. Um, I mean, it just came down to. It, it, the last game was so fucking close and it came down to like last minute team or like, like really tight team fighting. And I think maybe it just, the inexperience maybe just got to him. That's the only thing. Yeah. I, mean, I, I was kind of trying to listen as much as I could. And it sounded like, uh, even he said like, uh, maybe the moment might've been a little bit too big for him. Also, he is Turkish. Is he? He speaks another language, and oh. there was an interview with Vulcan with uh, Travis, and Vulcan was talking about how they barely could communicate with each other. So that was very tough. That's very tough to play with. That sucks. And I think they said they had, like, ten scrim games before that uh, wow. semifinal. So they it was it was rough. Um, yeah. And I, people figured... They weren't gonna win, but they put up a battle, and it was it was good. Um, Sunday was another fucking story, dude. I <laughs> Cloud Nine is so insane. Like it just feels like a lot of the times on playoffs they just fucking ramp up. Usually it's through the lower bracket or like the gauntlet, but they just fucking crushed all the way through. I mean, it's, the closest game of playoffs was their fucking game against CLG. Every other okay. game was a fucking... Every other series was a stomp. Okay, okay. And then this was the first 3-0 of our LCS playoffs. And, like, they just look like another beast, dude. Uh, Zillion fucking... Oh, my God. Zillion. Zillion. Uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Uh, Jensen busts just out the zillion. the zillion twice and just... They just had no idea what to do with it. It was... It was That's pretty insane and, because I feel like they should know how to play against that pick. It, it's clearly there's two mid laners in the LCS that will pull that out at any minute. And like, I feel like if you don't know what to do with that pick, you are trolling. Also berserker is insane. Obviously probably if anybody's been watching LCS knows that 
The guy only died once in those three games. Wow. Yeah. And I, I didn't believe- even realize. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, the only reason he died is there was a team fight bot lane, and they were literally diving 100 Thieves, like, uh, the, the inhibitor turret, and um, Closer yeeted Jensen the zillion away, and he couldn't get the zillion all on the Zeri. Wow. And that's why he died. But it was, it was, he, oh my god, it was nuts, dude. <laughs> it, it sounds was, like it. I was pretty, uh. I wouldn't say I was upset that I missed it, but I was like definitely wanting to watch it, and it kind of sucks I didn't get to. But you know, well, such is life. What does it say about a hundred thieves getting three o two times in a row in finals? Right, right. I mean, they put up a fight against uh, uh, Cloud Nine the other week, but yeah, I don't know what you do from there because it feels like you can't be getting shit on that hard and expect to do well. You know. I mean, to be fair, they're they're still going to Worlds. They're second seed. Right. Um, oh, I guess we could actually talk about that. I don't know if you saw the the pickums the or the the group. I stage. didn't. I oh did man. Not. Oh man. Cloud Nine is in a fucking group with uh, T1 and EDG. <laughs> oh shit. Let me just double check. Uh, <laughs> so they're about to get ass blasted, is what you're telling me. It is. Um. It. I think that was it. 2017. It's like literally the same fucking group is. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Cloud Nine, T One, EG. Uh, group B is JDG, G Two, and then Damwon. Uh, group C is Rogue. We didn't even talk about Rogue too. Rogue fucking destroyed G <laughs> Two. I don't want to talk too much about that. Right. Um, uh, group C is Rogue, Top Esports, and then uh, Gigabyte Marines. And then group D is Gen G. There's this fucking like crazy team. What are they called? CBTC Flying Oysters. <laughs> what? That's going to be our 1907 uh, Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce? <laughs> yes, dude. The flying I, Oysters. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed 1907 Fenerbahce. That uh, was... then, yeah, uh, 100 Thieves <laughs> is in that group D. And then, of course, they have play in. So hopefully. Uh, they can get uh, EG can get Danny back and crush in play ins and that would be great. Um, the I, other hope, thing that's, I hope Danny gets to come back and play, dude. He's so I, electrifying to watch, dude. Even if like have Cowrie there to like sub in in case something happens, you know. Right, right. I feel I just feel really bad for Danny. I, I like I want to know what's going on, but like also it's not really my business. You know what I mean? No, it's not. Um, but like it's no, it's no one's business. Right, but it's like it sucks, man. Because like you really want to know because it's one of those like. Man, if I wished, if I could help that dude, I totally would because, you know, it's just one of those like, he's right in his, it feels like pretty much in his prime, you know, and he's in a really good spot and it sucks to kind of watch him um, not be able to, to be there and, and perform. Um, so it's one of those, just, just one of those things, nothing, not that crazy, but just one of those, like, I wish, I wish I could help him. The other thing, um, is is Europe got a fourth seed this year and like Mad Lions just auto qualified. They literally didn't have to do anything. Nice. It 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 sucks. It's it feels cheap. I mean, <laughs> I it, people were saying like why don't they just why why didn't like NA and EU have like a fucking best of 5 series of like the fourth place teams to determine who gets the fourth seed. I mean, it's not a big deal. NA would have sucked anyways. But right. the crazy thing is for play in, so there's two EU teams in play ins now. Mm-hmm. Uh Fnatic and Mad Lions. There is a chance if if Mad and Fnatic both get out of play ins, they're gonna be in a group with another EU team. Wow. Which is fucking stupid. That is how boring is that gonna be if That's like, very that's like tough because they were talking I I think I saw somebody talking about like um if something like that were to happen, like like what do you do? You know, it kinda sucks. But, you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, right. But, yeah, other than that, man, uh, World Plans is, like, literally two weeks away now. It's on the 29th as they start. Um, oh, wow. That's pretty quick. Yeah, Plans 29th to the 4th. And then after that, they will figure out who is getting placed into groups. And then we're off. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're still... Getting ready to hopefully buy our tickets. I know you'll be on that. Well, you get the you have the Mastercard thing, right? So you're gonna get them early, yeah. Or pre-order or whatever the fuck. Yes, and I was talking to uh, Kaidola 
about um, getting in on some of the um, uh, tickets. He's gonna he's gonna show up with us too. So we got uh, we're gonna have some good uh, some good fun for sure. We got a lot of um, a lot of friends that are gonna be there. So I feel like. I'm I'm stoked on it. I got let me put it that way. I'm stoked on it. <laughs> one thing, uh, we'll say one more thing, and then we can literally get onto the episode because it's going a little too longer, uh, too too long. But, uh, are we sure? I I was seeing a lot of people saying they put a limit on the amount of tickets you can buy. I don't know what the total is, but I I feel like uh, six tickets isn't outrageous. I think I'm only buying six, right? I think so. We'll discuss yes. it later. Um, we will. <laughs> fingers crossed. But but yeah, guys, uh, world's coming up. Going to be hype. But let's get on to the main portion of this. We are um, going to be talking about honor. So let me get this on screen. Honor. So first of all, what does this say? Prior to this, there, I feel like there's literally, obviously, be a good person. Like, you shouldn't yes. be purposely talk it, but uh, toxic. But, like, there's literally no fucking reason to like go out of your way to be nice to everybody. I mean, just just don't just don't be racist, don't be homophobic, don't say that dumb shit. Like no one wants that. But like you would get sometimes you get reported and banned for like stuff that's not even like and but it, it doesn't matter cuz the rewards were so shitty. Granted, you shouldn't have to feel like you need to be rewarded for being good. Uh agreed. It, it's agreed. I, you definitely shouldn't have to feel like or you shouldn't, not that I have to feel like, but you shouldn't, like, it, it It sucks that, like, we're at this stage where you are rewarded for being good, if that makes sense. Like, there, you should just be that way. But, like, don't, I mean. Don't be a, don't be a, an idiot or an asshole or what other, whatever other um, adjective you want to use. Don't be that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's, for me, as long as I get above honor two. I just want the fucking my my biggest issue is staying above honor two so I can get my gold the sk- the Victoria skin because if you're not I think if you're below honor two you can't get rewards. So yeah, I think you're right. So as long as I'm like honor three or whatever, I'm fine. I don't get okay. Well, we'll get into it. So <laughs> uh, they said um, with honor. Oh yeah, they did add the honor recall. I totally forgot about that and I saw that in a ram today. I'm like, the fuck is this? Uh, so I, oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. no, no, go, go. I was like, I like, I like where they started, right? So the first thing was like, Hey, we have an update. Um, they kicked off the behavioral, uh, the new approach to behavioral systems, shifting the focus to 95% of players who are only occasionally disruptive. So that says, Hey, we know about the ones that are always disruptive take care of them. And we, but we really want to focus on those that are occasionally disruptive because, when they're occasionally disruptive, they're like that time when they are, they're mega disruptive, right? That's where the racist and the, uh, the sexist and the homophobic shit comes out. So I like that. Like they address, like, that's what we shifted to again, just reminding you that's where we went. And most of you behave fine. It's not a problem, but the occasional times that you do act out is what makes up the bulk of the reports. Right. Oh my God. Hold on. The next sentence just, fucking kills me just we've seen a lot of success in this approach yeah, more right. than you think yeah source trust me bro fucking... yeah exactly i know just... I, I was reading that <laughs> i could think i was like okay or well. the the obama meme of him giving himself the medal or whatever it's like... <laughs> uh but i do like that they have mentioned that they're not being they haven't been particularly loud about the changes and that's true they haven't really said much about what they're doing there so that's kind of um that is a point to see like yes we're, we're doing the, the changes we're making are working you're just not seeing it because we're not out here touting ourselves all the time or, or patting ourselves on the back so there is a little bit of like some humility there right mm-hmm. um and then to say at the same time there's a lot that they've been surprised by and and they're they're still learning so remember guys this is maybe this um behavioral system but this can and probably will change at some point in the future as they're getting more data when they change their focus you tend to see different things um so things are going to change so be aware of that it's not going to be the same all the time so don't um get used to that kind of stuff we just get an option to honor like 
carried this person carried because that's right like, uh, literally like 75 percent of the time for me i'm just like oh okay yeah this mastery on my team was 30 you know i'm just gonna <laughs> honor him right right easy easy uh easy honor right there so they're changing it up they're putting out a new skin uh, so I said on today's exciting announcement, we want to ensure you continue to feel that your efforts to behave positively are directly recognized with appropriate rewards. Three honor skin line. You've told us more times than I can count that the rewards for reaching the highest level of honor are stale. As promised in my last post, I'm thrilled to share the three honors skin line in its 2022 entrant, Malzahar. Now, Mal's. Why? Would I ever want a Malzahar skin? Why not, dude? You like Malzahar? First of all, first of all, that looks like the, his fucking um, Aztec skin. Was it World Breaker? Or it yeah, looks like World I think Breaker. So. I think I think it is World Break. I think that's the one you're. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the one you're talking about. Like, and, yeah, that looks extremely similar to it. Uh, Malzahar, like. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure why they decided to go with Malzahar for sure. That doesn't. Um... Let me. Yeah, there was a um, <laughs> there was a few comments on the Reddit post. This guy was like, "Give an honor five skin to Shaco and Cassidin just to make their main squirm." Um, there was another <laughs> one. There was actually a a serious comment. Let me see if I can find it. Um, someone said, "God damn, this skin looks like Borderlands Malzahar." It kind of does, but I think that's just the, um, I mean, it does look like Borderlands Malzahar, though. Like, uh, like <laughs> Borderlands 3 Malzahar. <laughs> this, this one's good, too. The community. Twitch and Warwick being the only champs available for honor rewards is a problem because much of the community plays other champions. Riot. Best I can do is Malzahar skin. Um, could, could someone just explain to me why Malzahar has a knife? I, is it his, like... Does he have a? Is that like his idol or something that he? I don't know Malzahar lore. Does he I, I don't use know Malzahar like lore a, either. Someone but okay. He, I, he literally never grabs it in game. I, I can't find the. I'll keep looking for it. But someone was like, "Why don't they put really like? I don't want to say rare skins. Why don't they put like really insane skins behind it? Like, why don't they bring back the Neo Pack stuff? Like." Right. People would Something want cool that, like that shit. Like, imagine if, like, Black Alistair was like, oh, yeah, if you're Honor 5 and you hold it for X amount of, like, months, you get this skin. I'll be like, I will shut the fuck up, dude. Right. It just, it just doesn't, looking at this does not seem worth it. So, with that in mind, Paul, is, is, is this gonna, is this gonna make you guys want to be more honorable? You should be honorable, obviously. You should be nice. But, like, is this That's worth incentive. it? Is this yeah. a good incentive? Yeah, like, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a big fat no on that one. But let's keep going. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. And I'm just throwing this out there. I googled why Malzar has a knife. Um, and there's an ask or it's sorry, it's a dagger. Um, and there's an ask riot Q and A. How long um, ago? I think this was 2017. Answered by Riot Tiger Lily, the editor for R and D, and it's completely non canonical on why they have why he has a dagger so doesn't matter why does he have a dagger <laughs> they can't even explain that but hey just want to throw that out there but anyways back to uh borderlands malzahar um yeah it's just really strange that how do they, they give land us on that yeah i don't know that's what i <laughs> that's what i was gonna say i don't doesn't make any sense because you're right it looks like Aztec-ish, but then he has that little Kabuki style mask on his belt. Like I, I don't. I'm missing the three honors part. I don't really understand. Um, I don't get it. I someone, guess. I don't know. Someone was like, they should give these skins for champs notoriously played by toxic people. So like Draven <laughs> or like Katarina or like yeah. Why don't they just do that? Riven. Of, yeah, like those like super sweaty ass fucking right yeah the sweaty champs yeah that might be better <laughs> it's just so i just feel like they put all the champions into like a fucking hat with their names and then pulled oh malzahar right 
Right. Yeah. It doesn't. Uh, it's it's weird. Very weird. Very very weird. But maybe they have a plan to do something with Malzahar to make him more playable. Because remember, like a couple of years ago, when you could actually play him support, and he was like super popular. Mm-hmm. He's not been on that same level of popularity in literal years. So I don't know how. Like you said, I don't know how they landed on that skin. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, yeah, guys, let but, us know. Is that is that a good incentive to right. reach honor five? I don't right. think so. Um, I do want to get into the little part here where they talk about how honor is calculated. Mm-hmm. I think this is actually really interesting um, because it's not clear to us, right? Like, obviously, you know that... Like many things. The more... Right, right, right. <laughs> it's just like MMR, it's not clear to us and obvious, right? Except for you can actually see the level here. Um, excuse me. So we know that... When people honor you after a game and they're not in your party, it counts for more. Like, it's it's more heavily weighted. If people honor you after the game and are in your party, it's still a positive. Um, and when you're reported, it's a, definitely a derogatory mark on your honor record, right? However, if the report even goes to anything, like, obviously, there's some reports and, like, someone go back and look at it and be like, this is... No, just throw this away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they happen quite um quite often so uh they give us a little chart here a little thing here that kind of tells you you know what affects your score so let's start with the the positive uh effects and there are a lot more positives than there are negatives i'm just gonna throw that out there There there's literally four paragraphs or four little blurbs of positives and one blurb of negative so the first blurb says honor progress per game gets faster the more consistently positive you are. The rare slip up won't kill your momentum, but flip flopping between negative and positive behavior will slow you down a lot. So that's saying like, hey, you could be really good for like two games and then just a fucking shit so, show the next three games, and it's gonna a- slow your progression. So what about someone on your team is just a piece of shit and reports you for no fucking reason? Is that? I'm not sure. That's it's from what I'm reading. It's that's gonna impact it, like your re- your account is receiving a report. So maybe it's easier if we look at the negative effects oh, first. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm skipping ahead. Let's look. Yeah, yeah. So it says here. Uh, let, let me give give you guys the negative effects, and I'll go back to the positives because that might answer your question. Mm-hmm. It says whether or not you get punished for the behavior we detect, all detected disruptive behaviors will impact honor. So the impact can result in a decrease in your honor level, a slowing in your progression, or both. The more severe the behavior, the more it'll impact your score. That's so. Fun. I think that answers your your question. There so might be does. just some dork who just reports you, but it may not really mean anything. We don't know. And as I said before, we still <laughs> don't know. So I guess we're kind up? of in the same boat. <laughs> what did they say up here? Oh, yeah. We, we've seen a lot of success. More than you think. Yep, got it. Trust us. Yeah. I don't know. That's... It's still just not that clear. Right. But they did explain why. Is they just they don't want you to, like, min-max the system for the rewards. They want you to actually be a positive player. So... Maybe hiding it in shrouds does help. Uh, maybe that's what they're finding out. Uh, maybe they're going to... I mean, obviously the only way to really figure it out is trial and error, right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so the second blurb of positives. In addition, if everyone on your team honors someone, each of you gets an extra increase to your honor score, even if you weren't directly honored. The best league games are the ones where all five teammates are having a great time. So if you see an ally struggling, stay positive, help them out. Um, that's always tough because... You try to say something positive to someone who's already tilted, and you can just tilt them even further, and they just become a raging asshole. Mm-hmm. I've experienced that. Um, okay, lesser known fact, you receive extra honor from <laughs> match-made teammates over pre-made teammates. This is to prevent honor trading between friends, being the dominant way to progress through honor. We knew that. I talked about Sur- that already. Surprise Pikachu face. like <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> and finally, game mode impacts the amount of honor you receive. So ranked solo and ranked flex is more than normals and ARAM and event modes, which is more than co-op and AI. This reflects the stakes as well as the amount of social interaction. That part I didn't know. I didn't know that solo and flex uh, I mean, it makes, was higher than normals. It makes sense. Because normals where you find a lot of people flaming too, which is insane. Like you find a lot of people flaming obviously in ranked, but like you find a lot of people flaming in normals too. It's like, what are you, what is there to flame? It's a normal. 
guys, imagine if you, being this upset. If you feel like you're going to be upset, just go into co-op AI games and just flame the bots. You're not yeah, going to lose it. your honor. <laughs> um. So yes, that that those are the the pieces that affect how um your honor is calculated. So that that is nice to have a little bit of clarity there. And then finally, they are giving us short um, little peeks into the future about uh, evaluating games like as disruptions happen. They're going to be adding a the ability to report in game. Wow, which is pretty insane. So, like, I mean, maybe I'm guessing if that gets flagged, they can just immediately get an excerpt of the chat within a time period or something. Maybe. Uh, let's see. We'll be adding a pre-made channel, chat channel, allowing you to maintain communication with those you've selected in your team without needing to expose to potential. Oh, okay. I like that. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. I think uh, that's really cool. Because I don't like. Because if you if you mute someone, they can still see yours typing, or yes. whatever you say if yes, you if yes. you are typing in chat. So, uh, I'm working on pr- improving your ability to play again with those you've enjoyed playing with in the past by providing easy ways to create parties with players you've honored or have honored you. That because that was another thing they don't mention it, but like, I've recently I played a game where I reported someone, and I the next lobby I had the same person. Oh, I feel oh, like I should. That rest. should not happen. No, I totally agree with you. That sounds fucking awful, dude. Um. Just making sure statement calling can be hard. Oh, we've been slow about steady improvement in recent time. Is making a real impact? Of you. It's, I don't know. So, well, I mean, overall, what do you think? Like, I it, think it brings a little bit of clarity. I mean, I think the thing to be upset about is just the fucking ugly ass that smells our skin. See, yeah. I think everything else is fine. Truthfully, I don't have a problem with anything else on that uh, list. There, it's just like. That skin is just duty pants, man. It's just duty pants. I like, I don't even know how how to put it otherwise. It's just not good. I Again, it's you shouldn't. The only reason to be to not be like a piece of shit in game, it shouldn't just be to get that skin, or right. whatever skin, right? But incentives are always a nice thing, and we know that this community is. Can be dog shit. <laughs> right. That <laughs> so, is the fucking truth. Oh man, yeah. I, the 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 part um where it says even if you don't get honored, if every all five people it, it, it still counts towards your honor, I'm like, okay, that's a good thing to know. Cause sometimes I'm like, I feel like shit when I did a good job and no one honors me. But I see like, oh, you're everyone in your you're on your team honored someone. And I'm like, oh, the fuck? Um, they just didn't like you. I don't know. Probably. Uh, and then the uh, in-game. <laughs> Hold on. What does it say? You you just get honor for grinding games and never typing ever. Chat disabled and all. You can soft in games, troll AFK, and then log in the next day with a client message that says, teammates like you. Here's a key fragment. Stay honorable. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of true, though. Like, okay. I mean, how many times do you see like a top laner just get absolutely shellacked and then never say anything? And like he's probably raging on the other side, and you're like, "Wow, that guy's that guy's taking it really well." <laughs> like, <laughs> so I like this uh, <coughs> this Reddit this top Reddit comment says, uh, "We're working on exciting updates that will allow us to evaluate text live in game, preventing you from being exposed to detected inappropriate text and muting those players for the rest of the game." This is gonna be interesting. And there's a there's a few um, responses, like someone saying, "Me playing jungle and adding the word gank to the filter." <laughs> And then <laughs> someone said, um, my jungle is fucking garbage. Four ganks from enemy jungler. Jungle diff, I guess. Guy with zero vision score at 12 minutes. Or <laughs> my personal favorite, die in lane. TP back instantly before enemy jungler even had a chance to get to river. Run straight for the minions and die to what is the most predictable second gank that even Helen Keller could have anticipated. Holy Blame shit. Blame your jungler. Profit. Like... <laughs> And someone said that's a Shinshin TP. But like, how many times do you see that? And it like it's commendable if if you know your player doesn't rage about it. But like, they're probably gonna rage about it. Truthfully, you know. Also, they didn't give any updates about champ select reporting because no. the last time they mentioned that it literally does nothing. 
Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, they need to fix that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They need to fix that. Oh, also the other, uh, another, just probably the last point I'll like point out is a lot of people were like, oh, wow. They actually posted it on like the dev website instead of someone's fucking Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth though. Or Yeah. It's on the League of Legends website. Yeah. Where it's not yeah. like some writer that has 300 followers. Right, right, right. Yeah. I know some random, random rioter. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Is is the Malzahar skin? Is that satisfying for you? If you you know, want to be honorable or should be honorable or whatever, is it a good incentive? Do you think? I'm trying to think of a good question. Um. I mean, do you think it's gonna make? Or is I? I, I want to know what I want to know what you guys think would would uh make for a more honorable play like what what kind of what can be offered i guess to make a better um more honorable player like that what i don't i don't like clearly riot's still trying to figure this stuff out right i like that i like that idea like what aside from what would be a better what not maybe not better what, what would be some other incentives that you would personally like right to be honorable there One thing go. that I come to mind, imagine all Honor 5 people only play with Honor 5 people. Granted, oh, the, the, that the, might... The, the Dota, uh, the Dota yeah. uh, answer? Granted, that might kill Q time or like insane Q times because, you know, everyone's not Honor 5. But right. you get the idea. Something. Right. Not, and not like a backpack that the Challenger people got. That was fucking stupid. But that's not honorable. But that, that was a <laughs> shitty reward. Um. Yeah, it was I just, okay, but yeah. I just don't care about this. I'm just give me the victorious skin. I want to know what it is because I'm gonna get that. And uh, yeah. Oh, look at you! You're getting the victorious skin, huh? Yeah, I'm gold too. Oh yeah. Wow. Are you gonna get gold again? And I don't know, dude. I'm. Uh, we'll get you there. We got two I'm months. S- yeah, I'm struggling this season. I could got- I could say that much for sure. You got two months. You can do it. So guys, yeah, let us know and um. We will be back on Friday, yes, and as always, follow, like, rate us, join our Discord, um, go to the link tree in the bio, follow us on Twitter. Um, this you know, Discord will... is uh, popping off now, guys. Uh, I've noticed a lot of you joining. Thank you for joining. Thanks for saying hi. Um, mm-hmm. I've seen some some new memes popping in the meme channel. Um, appreciate it. That, that's the kind of fun we're looking to... to uh, uh incorporate with with everybody so thank you and uh yeah we are coming up on episode 100 we're probably do like a stream or something no insane we're we're still trying to figure out what we want to do but nothing like the other uh giveaway you know we're we're broke bitches so we're we're gonna try to make something fun happen poor Um, poor. i just moved i'm poor poor uh yeah other than that guys we will see you on friday so have a good week be safe y'all